have suffered that fate. Regarding the planned talks with the Kenya Kwanza, we are here to announce that we are ready. We are particularly ready to return to Bombers of Kenya. We continue regarding Bombers of Kenya as a sacred ground when it comes to the quest for reform, change, and national healing. Our team remains as previously announced. One is His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, who is the delegation leader. Two Honorable John Sapio and I, leader of minority party, who will be the respect person for the delegation. Honorable Eugene Wamalo, party leader of DAP. Honorable Okongo Omogeni, Senator Nyamira. And Honorable Amina Unyanzi, MP Malindi. The issues for discussion from our side remain. One, cost of living. Two, audit of the 2022 presidential election results. Three, the restructuring and the constitution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and related matters. Four, measures to prevent interference with political parties. Five, outstanding constitutional matters, that is governance issues, adequate checks and balances, and the question of boundaries delim delimitation. As we said earlier, the team we have picked reflects the importance we attach to these talks. We picked the team with a full understanding that the country is on a wrong trajectory. Anyone who thinks otherwise is being delusional. With this reality in mind, we have put in place a technical and legal team to support our delegation to the dialogue. Consequently, we have settled on Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, to head the legal and technical team to the talks. We have tasked our delegation and our technical teams under the able leadership of His Excellency Kalonzo and Kioni to go to these talks with the courage of and open minds. It takes courage and open minds to establish common ground in situations of dispute. We have told our delegation and we want all Kenyans to understand that engaging in honest dialogue does not amount to surrender or cowardice. We must see it as an act of strength and a matter of common sense. We remain committed to negotiating in good faith on the basis of a plan to achieve a comprehensive settlement of the country's problems through dialogue. We stand for transparent, above-board, and speedy talks guided by decorum, honesty, and respect for the people of Kenya. As a party, we believe that this country deserves peace, not paralysis. That is why we have stood down our protests to give dialogue and peace a chance. We appeal to Kenya Kwanzaa that vitriol must now end because it won't work. Propaganda must now end because it has not solved our problems this past year and it won't in the coming year. Our people and the whole world are watching us and we encourage them to watch us and to hold us to account. Finally, 
I wish to thank the team that was led by Honorable Otiende Amolo for what they did in representing as a meal in those talks that collapsed. They have agreed to remain as uh, a backup to the team 